Howdy, folks. I'm Lyrical Lyra, lovingly lavishing lyricless lines. I'm Amber. And here are more lyricless lines for us to lavish you with. Although this entire thing is nothing but lines. And I am a liar, apparently. Amber has planned this too well. <laughs> Let's get started. NASA planned this too well, we should say. Amber is NASA. It's a conspiracy theory. Oh, I like this conspiracy theory. All right, folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for selling my ridiculously expensive engagement ring and buying a full suit of armor? I know this sounds ridiculous and I sound terrible, but please hear me out. My fiancé is a 27-year-old male and I'm a 29-year-old female, and we've been together for five years and living together for two. We have such a strong, loving relationship. He is stuck by my side through my mother's cancer and helped with taking care of my aging father. We have excellent communication and can always tell when something is bothering one or the other. Around six months ago, the topic of marriage came up and we both made it clear that we were ready to take the next step. He brought up the topic of engagement rings after one of our mutual friends posted an engagement announcement with the obligatory picture of her new ring. It's a huge gem, assuming that it's a real diamond and it must cost upwards of $10,000. I mentioned that it looked nice, but I could never wear something as expensive as this. For one, I would feel incredibly ostentatious, and two, it would be constantly worrying about this tiny piece of jewelry worth more than a car getting broken, lost, or stolen. I said that if I were to ever receive such a ring, I would probably sell it and buy something more useful. He laughed and thought that we were on the same page about that. The topic came up a couple more times and I reiterated my opinion on the matter. I told him the same thing each time. I don't want an expensive ring and I would not wear one if I was given it. And I would sell it if I was. I explicitly told him that I was not joking. Well, a few months later, the big day happens. He takes me on a lovely walk that accumulates in a meal at a fancy restaurant. Right before he pops the question, our friends and family come in with champagne. Of course, I say yes before even looking at the ring. A few seconds later, I look down and see a friggin' diamond that is the size of a marble on a band with a bunch of little diamonds that really wouldn't seem little if not for their colossal neighbor. I don't say anything at the time because I don't want to embarrass him in front of everyone, but really, I am shocked that he went against my wishes and would do something like this. Looking at it the next day, this ring must have cost at least $10,000. Nope, I had it appraised and he spent at least $20,000 on this monstrosity. Just like I said I would, I sold it for a little over half that much. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted a suit of armor. I know it's silly, but being a knight would be so cool, and I would love to wear the proper outfit. Plus, I'd be invincible. It would be ridiculous to waste thousands of dollars on something like that though, right? Yes, but not as ridiculous as spending even more than that on a single piece of jewelry. So why not? I had my friend take all of my measurements and place an order for a custom suit of armor plus the helmet, gorget, and demi gauntlets. I submitted the order, it, it takes at least a few weeks to arrive, and I even had enough money left over to buy a very nice Mossonite ring that has a kind of similar style to the original. When my fiancé noticed that I was wearing a different ring, I casually explained the situation and he flipped out. He said that the ring that he chose was meant to be the ring that I would wear, and that I couldn't just go and sell it. I reminded him that I told him that this would happen, and he said that he didn't think that I would actually go through with it. Apparently, he is considering ending the engagement over this. I love this man with all my heart, and will do what it takes to fix it, but still, I don't feel like I did the wrong thing by doing exactly what I said I would. Alright folks, what do you think? I think that they're both a little bit jerks here. Like, he should have taken OP's wants uh, more into consideration. Yeah. Um, and granted, there are some people who will say, don't buy me anything nice and then flip out if you don't get them anything nice. But it doesn't sound like OP has expressed those tendencies. Yeah. You know, it sounds like he wanted a big ring for show to show off. And he didn't care that OP didn't want that. But... Why didn't OP sit him down and ask him to return it and exchange it for something smaller? Why did she go ahead and sell it and get armor? Yeah, I mean, when OP first was talking, she said she would sell the ring and then get something more useful. I don't see how a suit of armor is more useful than no. a ring. Are you going to wear a suit of armor every single day? <laughs> I mean, maybe, but it doesn't seem very practical. No. Um... I don't know if I buy this. I think this is a very silly story, and I, I, uh, I think that OP has a fanciful imagination. 
a ring, um, a diamond the size of a marble. A marble. I mean, it's not unheard of. Well, but that would be a really expensive ring, wouldn't that? I have no idea what diamonds go for. I think if she sold a ring with... It depends on the cut, too. Well, I mean, I guess so, but... Yeah, I just have a, this vision of like a diamond, a diamond, a, a marble sized diamond sitting on her finger, which is like, you know, a hundred thousand dollar gem or something like well, that. Well, people are also very bad at estimating the sizes of things. Yeah. Like, if you asked me what the size of the diamond in my engagement ring is, I would be like, um. It's the size of the moon. No. You're rich. I wish. I mean, not the ring. I would not want a diamond the size of the moon. I mean, about the I rich, we're rich part. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want a diamond the size of the moon because of the gravitational impact that it would have on the planet. It would be pretty bad. It, it would, would be, be. It would be bad. So, uh, silliness aside, even if this isn't, re if, even if this is real, on the off chance that this is real, I think that this would be a terrible thing to do to somebody. I think the point of an engagement ring is so like the original point of the engagement ring was to provide like collateral type of thing mm -hmm. right for if the engagement is called off for one reason or another then the woman can sell the ring and have something to live off of for a little while right mm -hmm. um so that was the original point is the engagement ring a gift at that point in time does she have the ability to sell it at that time i would argue that it's within her legal right to sell it. Well, that's the thing. We're not asking about legal rights because, yeah, sure, she legally is entitled to sell something that's been gifted to her. Yeah. But you also can be upset if you give someone something and they sell it. Like, yeah. he's within his right to be upset that she took a twenty a $20,000 ring, sold it for half that, and bought armor with it. Yeah. I would be questioning priorities at that point in time, mm -hmm. monetary priorities. Like, again, like he made a bad monetary decision mm -hmm. because this isn't something that she wanted. She made a bad monetary decision by buying a freaking suit of armor. And uh, I think that they're both both not necessarily listening to each other. Well, that's the thing. It doesn't sound like this is a partnership where communication is a, a thing at all. Like, she made her desires very clear. He dismissed them completely. But instead of, again, having a sit-down conversation and asking him about trading it in for something cheaper, she just went up and sold it and was like, yeah, I bought armor. I mean, I would think that I would be pretty annoyed by that, too. I think, again, like, it's hard to ignore how he went behind her back and got not just, like, a flashy ring, but mm -hmm. the most flashy ring possible. And... I think it was well within her right to request a new, different ring, mm -hmm. right? And I think that oftentimes people will be like, yeah, I love, I want to, of course, say yes, but the ring is, you know, X, Y, and Z. I, I, you know, we should look at rings together or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that I think they could have had a conversation around where she's like, I 100% want to marry you, but this ring is too much for me. Can we find something a little less flashy? Yeah, and I think it's perfectly fine to have them want, and use a Mawsonite ring, too, if that's mm -hmm. what she wants. Because it sounds like she's really self-conscious about the cost of the ring, right? And that if something happens to the ring, then she'll be, like, losing, you know, $20,000 or something like that. And, I mean, if it's going to stop her from wanting to wear it around, then, I mean, then, you know, it's not going to be something that she's going to want to wear every single day, and he's still not going to accomplish the purpose of looking ultra flashy or something like that, mm -hmm. too, for the, the fiancé. <laughs> it feels like he thought more about himself than her. Well, that that's it exactly. He wanted to show off, like, look how much I care about my fiancé. I buy her the best of the best. And, uh, again, not taking into consideration that she doesn't want a $20,000 rock on her finger. Yeah. Now, the real question is, why why a suit of armor, of all things? Well, and, like, why spend the money? Like, this wasn't, like, I know it's, I understand it's a gift, but, like, I just feel like she should have just, like, brought, given it back to him and been, like, do something with this, I'm not taking it. Yeah, it feels very, kind of, it feels a little icky. It does feel a little icky. Like, she just saw it as a cash windfall. Mm hmm But let me know what you folks think. So, anyhow, take care and good luck. I'd also like to point out that, like, if it had been, like, an emergency and she sold the engagement ring to, like, provide, like, life-saving support or something like that, maybe that would have been a different type of thing.
Well, it's the thing is like, I mean, it still serves a purpose as like an insurance thing, yeah. you know, to a degree. But no, nope, she sold it for a suit of armor, which is not going to be easy to sell in an emergency. Yeah. And to it, the squid says, in the slightest possibility that this isn't fake, you're the jerk, but a really awesome jerk at that. And I respect it. And Simulation Overlord says, I would go with not the jerk if OP managed to get a full trimmed rune armor in, with the process. That's just being financially responsible. I, mean, I guess some people are armor fans here. <laughs> and Chance Ad 3606 says, I find this story very hard to believe. But if true, yes, you are a major jerk. If you didn't want it, just give it back. You had no right to just sell it for half of what he spent on it. I'd break off the engagement as well. You're the jerk. And Fairy Hurricanes says, You're the jerk. You did not discuss with your fiancé after receiving the ring that you would prefer a different one. You essentially showed that you cared more about getting your armor over his feelings, time, and money that he put into it. You claim that this is a strong, loving relationship, but then you sold the ring to buy some armor. I mean, I'd point out that he also doesn't seem to care too much about OP's feelings. Yeah. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here, and Amber has a joke. What toner should you refrain from putting in your printer? You should stop and not put me in your printer. I have psychological <laughs> damage from Xerox over here. They're like, toner is low. Toner is low. What do you mean toner is low? I am not low. This is ridiculous. This is an insult. Defamation. I refuse to accept this punchline. Yeah, the punchline is Brian. I'm the punchline. What in the world? <laughs> and I have licorice spice. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Spectacular Saturday. I hope your Saturday is going spectacularly. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance, and please have it on selling your engagement ring. Instead of selling your engagement ring and buying a suit of armor, if you're unhappy with your engagement ring, talk to your partner. Communicate. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.